All right. What is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, Randy here, RTSMO.com, bringing you a fantastic video today. We are here with the Assign Alliance, with the Pandemic Corporation, uh, doing a station defense at one of our capsule air outposts for the Alliance. Uh, we are approximately 140 pilots from the Silent Alliance. This is very off-peak time. 1.30 in the morning is when I woke up. Definitely off-peak. Uh, and we are fighting against uh, a significant clunk, clump, bunch of Chinese alliances. They are mad because Tahini and the rest of the Silent Alliance uh, has been smashing their battleships all week. Their faction battleships. They lost multiple faction battleships. We've also stolen multiple Capsuleer outposts, and by multiple, I mean we literally killed haulers carrying like six Capsuleer outposts and got them. Um, so go figure on that luck, right? And then just the other day, not only did we get a station, but Tahini also killed a hauler that had five succubus inside of it, and he got, he was able to loot four of them off the corpse. So that was really cool. Um, so now we are facing the uh, the response. The Chinese Alliance attacked one of our uh, stations off peak, and here we are. Uh, again, it's about 140 to 930. There's a bunch of people, one station over camping over there because they didn't fit in this one. Uh, and you will notice there will be a little bit of lag because the nodes, uh, it was the battle was too short notice to get, get the nodes reinforced. So here we go. I'm going to speed this up, and you're going to see some cool stuff. All right, and here you can see the enemies are starting to pop into our system. Uh, they are popping right into our interdiction bubble, so they're not able to warp onto their target. And uh, we do have now our drones moving in to engage um, as they come in. We have been picking off, if you saw from the first minute or so when I was talking, we probably picked off about 15 ships that came in ahead of their pack. They came in too early, so we got 15 easy kills there. A number of VNIs, SFIs, uh, a bunch of cruisers, a couple frigates. So really some good kills there. About, a, about a, I'd say, a 800 million or so isk worth of kills before the battle even really started. And now you can see we have both exchanged our drones. They have massively superior numbers, as you can see, the difference in the size of our balls. Uh, and they also sent in some of their short-range cruiser ships. So you can see we are now moving away from the target, uh, gaining some distance from those melee uh, or those shorter-range ships so we can pick them off. And we are just continuing to wipe out their ships. So in just a second, you'll see it start lagging, which is going to kind of slow everything down a little bit. But uh, um, really, we're just having good tight formation. We've got our you know long-range cruisers, with support and tank staff over here inside the bubble. We've also got three fleets of battle cruisers positioned around the uh, the warp gate and they are picking people off at much longer range, you know, the whatever the 120, 140 range. Whereas our snipers like to be in the 60 to 80, right? So we are uh, just picking them off and we're actually winning. I think we've only lost about three ships at this point. Um, we are completely dominating them. And in just a minute, you're gonna see, they're gonna start spamming local chat uh, with like the number one or with just like single character texts uh, in an effort to crash the server which by the way I think is against the terms of service so hopefully the devs find a way to make it so that doesn't happen again um, whether it's putting a slow you know slow down filter on local chat uh, during large battles like this or whatever um, probably would help them combat Chinese bots too uh, but yeah, so here you can see uh, a little bit of lag now affecting the targeting systems. Uh, unable to target any of the ships nearby. Having a couple issues, but we are still uh, getting kills because the ones that we've targeted, our long range ships are picking off. Um, so this is definitely some cool footage. I did like the stuff before when you can kind of see the two balls coming at each other and they got the thing going, right? A little, a little Adam and Eve right there with the, with the thing and the balls. I feel like I'm got to keep this PG rated um, and uh, yeah again we are just slaughtering them at this point um, they are now starting to come in come into our formation I'm gonna come in closer and you can see they do have a number of shorter range uh, ships breaking into our bubbles in addition to the drones uh, they also interestingly enough uh, have multiple nightmares on the field um, so you'll see a couple of those in just a second really excited to show you guys that so let's just keep on checking it out. I may even speed it up a little bit more um, 
That way you can kind of get a better view without spending your whole day here. So here, uh, here we go. All right, and we are back moving at four times speed now. That way you oh, there's some lag. So uh, yeah, anyways, moving at four times uh, speed to pick this up a little bit for you. Uh, as you can clearly see, I disconnected, got a black screen, got auto-warped out of the area to somewhere else. Uh, and unfortunately, this was a trend that was happening over and over during the battle. Um, so we're going to use this opportunity, our alliance, uh, to regroup at safe locations uh, as we attempt to figure out what the hell we're going to do. <laughs> um, attempting to get back to, uh, to the fight here. Um, so what we're doing is moving to the Citadel now. We have fallen back. We have retreated from the gate camp. Uh, we had massive amount of kills. We were dominating them on the gate camp, but just their their, their sheer numbers overwhelmed us. Uh, we probably killed them at a five to one ratio. Unfortunately, they just pressed right into our balls, and as they entered our balls, we had to move away. Um, that sounded pretty bad. Let me rephrase that. As they as they entered our shield uh, extender fields. Our, 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 that's wrong. Shield field modules. As they entered our shield field module balls, um, we had to back away. So we used those. Uh, it was like a wave of disconnects, and you can see they are spamming chat now. Uh, but it was a wave of disconnects that caused us to. And just look at that. They're literally just spamming chat. So this is what I'm saying, devs. You guys got to look at this because they were essentially dosing the server. They were pinging it with useless uh, actions to overload it. Um, you know, they, they probably had about 800 pilots left at this time to our 120, whatever we had left from the original 140. And they are just spamming single letters in chat. Um, but yeah, so we are regrouping on the station. We are uh, getting ready for the next engagement. They have their nightmares on the field. Um, they are grouping on their nightmares and getting ready to send ships into our area. Uh, and here they come. <laughs> they're all coming now. Look at that. Oh, man, they're coming in quick. You ever seen uh, uh, 800 ships warp in at the same time? Because you're watching it. So I, I will give them props. They, they were very organized in their group, uh, their group warps. Um, they did a good job staying in formation. There's another DC there. Hopefully I get to fight again. Um, they did do a good job. I, I'll give credit or credits to. They did a good job staying organized. Um... They, you know, had a goal, had, had a few goals to accomplish, and they were able to, to do that. Here you can see one of the nightmares, some action of the nightmare, as I posted on my Twitter. Um, so the nightmares are a little bit too far out of a range, especially, oh, that was a Myrmidon? That was a Myrmidon, I apologize. Um, there's the nightmares, now you can see I'm locking them. So they are coming within close range of us. Uh, unfortunately, about two-thirds of our fleet had DC'd at this time. You can see how small our ball is. There's no loot crates around. Like, we didn't get blown up. We got disconnected and, and, and basically uh, warped out of the area. So as the uh, the Reds continued to uh, coalesce here, uh, about 30 km off the station, 40 km off the side of the station there, we are doing our best to combat them. And again, we are slowly, uh, kind of slow burning away picking off people, we're stretching them out, we're picking off the stragglers or, or the aggressors that are coming in hot um, and getting a enormous amount of kills. Unfortunately at this time, due to the lag, my weapons, my personal uh, MOA Guardian weapons uh, lagged out and were bugged. So it was a micro warp drive, I couldn't micro warp, I couldn't shoot anything, I maybe got off one shot every five or six minutes, it was definitely a little bit frustrating. Um, so devs, definitely uh, uh, still a little bit of work to do on the server lag. Um, maybe one of the things to combat it. You can see they're still spamming. They're literally in chat, just spamming the number one or spamming, you know, single character words, just nonstop. So I'm sure that's contributing to the lag as well. We need to definitely get that addressed and look at that as far as a fix to that, and uh, maybe some repercussions for the guys who are exploiting. It's my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, credit to them for staying, staying tight. Um, at this, at this point, literally most of our fleet had DC'd. Again, you're not seeing loot boxes everywhere. We're literally, I mean, I'm the tank. I have half shield still. Um, we're literally just DCing and getting warped to like a random planet or some space in between some planets. Um, so we're just trying to regroup and figure out what's going on here. All right, and we are back after one more short DC uh, drop from my fleet and warped out again. But we are coming back hot 
hot and heavy and ready to go. Uh, so at this point, uh, the enemy is coalescing on top of our station. They are grouping up uh, and launching their drones. It looks like they were a primarily a drone-focused fleet, although they also had, like I said, a couple nightmares and a whole lot of other things. Uh, but I believe more than half their fleet was probably drones, which you're going to see in a second. I actually slowed this part back down to just two times speed because I thought it was really cool. Um, you know, Merry Christmas to you because if this isn't a floating Christmas ornament, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's, it's almost a perfect sphere. You'll get a look at it in a second here when I kind of rotate the camera angle. But look at that. It's almost a perfect sphere uh, of drones murdering the station. Um... So at this point, we're continuing to just pick these ships off. They're not in, uh, their defensive formation is relatively tight, um, but we're, they also have a large group of kind of mid-range, short-range ships that are between us and their shields. So we're just continuing to pick them off uh, whenever our, we our weapons work. Uh, and as we do that, uh, you know, they are, of course, focusing the station. They don't really care about the losses. So uh, overall, I think this is a good fight. Uh, like I said, we had like a 5 to 1 kill ratio, you know, 140 versus 930. Pretty pretty, <laughs> pretty typical silent alliance combat odds. Uh, we usually are significantly outnumbered and we usually get way more kills than anybody else. Uh, but they did put up a good fight. Uh, I guess you could say that they had the victory because they destroyed the capsule rod post. But looking at the kill mails and the uh, Doctrine uh, ship replacement requests, the SRP requests, uh, we had significantly more is damage overall. But again, great fight. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Give me the like and sub. I love you guys a long time. I'm going to cut it short here because the station is about to get blown up. I'm about to get DC'd for about 10 minutes straight. Uh, so we'll end it here. But hit that like and sub button. Special shout out again to Pand. Love you guys a long time. Randy out.